What's up y'all, Darsizzle from Darsizzle Offshore here today, and today I am here to teach you how I like to fillet a giant red snapper, also known as an American red snapper and a genuine red, and this fish, I'm gonna show you how to utilize every piece of meat possible, so let's dive right into it. Diving right into it, the first thing you wanna have is a very sharp knife. I don't care what kind of knife it is, whatever you prefer, just make sure it's extra sharp. A dull knife is more dangerous than a sharp knife. First thing you wanna do is penetrate this fish because they've got really tough scales. Just made a cut right there, and you really wanna cut up towards the head and angle it up there because all fish have a lot of head meat and a lot of people miss it if you cut straight across. So now that we made that cut, turn the knife around and cut downwards. So now we got that whole nice cut there. Then up here by the head, take your knife, turn it right around, and you're basically just gonna make like a little incision all the way down the backbone here. And you kinda wanna do one long stroke, it, stroke if possible, but just take your time with it. And the most important part here is you really wanna be feeling the bones with your knife. You can actually feel it, and you can actually hear the knife making contact with the bones. You might not be able to hear it in this video, but you wanna make sure it's just laying on those bones so you get as much of the meat as possible. When I come down to here, what I like to do is I stick the knife all the way through and then I cut through the tail. So that way it's done out of the way. I just put the tail like that, no big deal. All right, so I like to do it like so. So we're gonna flip the whole filet off. That's just my process. You can do what you like, but uh, no way that, any way that you like to do it is not wrong. So now that we made that whole initial cut, just lift up gently, and again, just keep making sure your knife stays in contact with those bones. And you can kind of see as you work, as you're working and you lift, you can see where your bones are and where you want that knife to lay. And I like a little bit of flex to my knife here, and you can actually see it's flexing. So that way I can really lay it where I want to lay it and get a beautiful slab of meat off of this fish. And now I can really hear those bones. It's really making contact with them. And then up by here by the head, just make sure you clear all that head meat. But a lot of people miss head meat in a lot of fish, so you just wanna take your time to get up there and grab as much meat as you can off fish that you harvest. So now that we made that cut, I've reached the spine bone here, and the spine bone protrudes a little bit. So now what you wanna do is raise your knife a little more, and of course up here right by the head, there's a bunch of pin bones, and that's where your sharp knife comes in because you wanna break those bones. There we go. Just like so. And bend in that knife too, because that's how you want to get in there and get as much meat as possible. And then once you get over the spine bone, turn your knife back down and follow that angle all the way down, just like so. And right here by the head, they always have uh, pin bones and then they have a, ray, a row of rib cage bones as well. What I like to do is I kind of like to leave those rib cage bones intact. Um, some people like to take it off with your knife, which you totally can. And if you do, no big deal. Just gotta make sure you clean your filet really nice so you don't get any of those innards on your filet. But you can see how I angled it back down like that. And then we're just gonna take this big, beautiful red snapper filet right off. Look at that. Holy cow. That is amazing. Now, a lot of, I know a lot of you are gonna say to flip it over and just lay it like that and skin it. I don't like to do that. So I like to knock it off like so. A little piece of meat right there. Probably even good raw. Yummy. All right, so we just got that side off, as you can see. And what I like to do here, just so you see, that is really good. I'm gonna use the same exact knife, and I'm going to basically keep it as close to me as possible, so that way I have leverage when I'm working with it. Pick your knife, put it right underneath the skin at a 45 degree angle, and then I like to grab it, hold on to it, and then work it all the way down. Now you don't wanna be working out here because you're gonna have no leverage. So I really like to keep it nice and compact next to me, keep my elbows and my arms next to me so I have control as I skin this fish. And this does take practice. You won't be an expert overnight, but practice makes perfect. Now I just knock that off, check it out. Woo, look at that. Doesn't get much better than that beautiful American red snapper. People go crazy for these this time of the year. It's the season for them. People on the Gulf Coast, uh, the, uh, basically the Gulf Coast of Mex uh, Gulf, Gulf of Mexico, on the west coast of Florida, they have a lot more red snapper up there and a lot of big ones. And we caught this bad boy in Apalachicola, Florida, 
and that is a big red snapper for me. But I believe the record for Florida is 46 pounds, which is a huge, huge fish. And the average fish we were catching were about 10, 15 to 20 pounds, which is a nice red snapper, no doubt. So we're just gonna pull the pin bones out. You can use pliers if you want, whatever works for you. But as you can see, I'm doing this, which is no big deal. Not wasting a whole lot of meat there. And then right on the back side here, you do see a lot of bloodline. Now, it, this is mostly very, very faint and a very thin amount of bloodline, but right here in the middle is a little thicker. So I'll just show you how I like to remove a little bit of bloodline. We kind of make a cut like that on both sides. And you could just knock out that piece like that and keep the whole filet intact. And a lot of that, um, a lot of that you can clean up in your house and take care of, but honestly, just cook it and you can eat around it, no big deal. But that is our beautiful red snapper filet. That's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna knock off the other side of this fish right now. And then show you how I like to remove the red snapper cheeks, which is one of the best parts of this fish. By the way, if you're interested in the filet knives that I'm using today, check out Smith's Consumer Products. I'm gonna have that information down in the description below and use my coupon code DARSIZZLE15 for 15% off your purchase plus free shipping on their website. We are officially done with our beautiful fillets. We got them off the biggest red snapper fillets I ever have seen myself, so I am happy. But most importantly, we gotta get the cheek meat. Snapper cheek meat is excellent. You, that's mostly known with like grouper, grouper cheeks. You hear that a lot. But red snapper or any big snapper are gonna have a nice set of cheeks as well. So we're gonna remove his cheeks and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I just switched my knife. I'm gonna use my four inch bait breaker. Same company, Darsizzle 15. I'll link that information down below. But you can actually feel on these fish right in here. You can feel, feel where it's soft and you can feel where that cheek meat is. And it's a really, it's a delicacy. It's a different type of meat. They use this all the time. So right in here, you can feel it. And just with your fingers, feel where, you, where it is and then insert your knife kind of like on the bottom half. And again, they have really crazy scales here. But insert it at an angle and kind of follow that cheek area down, just like you see me doing here. Let me get my hand out of the way here so I don't cut myself. And then kind of just take your time with it. You've really got to feel with your knife, like I said, where this meat is sitting. And you're gonna just edge it light, right along the bones in here and the, the, um, their membranes and stuff. So just make that turn. And you can see I should be able to start pulling it out now, but this is gonna be delicious. This is so good. So we got a beautiful set of cheek meat right here, as you can see. And then all we gotta do, go around the mouth here. You definitely want a sharp knife, like I always say, so important. And then we'll pop this right off. And they are super, super tough. There we go. All right, big old set of cheek meat coming out, and this will be excellent. Cook it any way you possibly would like, but try it in the future when you maybe get a big snapper or a grouper. Try to take the cheek meat. Use every piece of this fish as you can. There we go. And then you would just skin it as you just saw me do on the other side of the filet, but that is a big old set of cheeks. Nice. We got the giant red snapper fillets off. We got the giant cheeks out. Last but not least, the, one of the best parts as well, this is also known as swamp chicken. And you might be wondering what the heck swamp ch ch chicken is. Well, that would be a red snapper collar, also known as a fish throat. There's a couple different names out there on what it is, but this basically this whole section right here, it's really delicious and a delicacy. So I'm gonna teach you how to remove the collar right now. So with a lot of fish they have right here by their gill plates, it's kind of hard to see right here, but when you have your own fish, you'll be able to see it. There is a bone that sticks out and you kind of want to outline this bone and separate it from the membrane. And that's going to release this collar on this side. So now that that's separated, there's a big old piece of collar right here that you want to separate, which I just did like so. And then the membrane is right underneath here. And now that we got that separated, cut around this edge here. Then you're going to go to the other side and do the same exact thing. Flip them over. And then on this side, collar is up here. You can actually like see the bone and feel the bone. And you're going to work your knife again around this collar and separate the call separate the uh, the throat from the whole body of the fish. And then cut this membrane. Cut down here. And I just use a smaller knife because I can get a better get in there a little better. And now that we got that separated, it should just pull right out. If then it doesn't, 
Of course, you use your knife to pull the rest out, but this is going to be a giant snapper collar here. You see how both are pulling out, no problem. Right here, there's just a little piece of membrane holding that in. And give it a little twist. You know what? You can just cut it too. But that is separated. Come on, let go, let go. This is our collar right here. Whoops, there goes my bear. Ah! All right, so this is a giant snapper collar that just fell. No big deal. That is the collar. That is the piece that you would eat. And obviously, you would go ahead and cut off these fins, clean it up, remove this membrane a little bit, and you just put that on the grill and eat that. But that is a beautiful snapper collar. And as you can see, not one thing did we waste on this fish. So I hope you guys get to use these different tactics on your own fish and just try to harvest as much as you possibly can. Respect the fish, respect the ocean, and go ahead and comment down below if you learned something from this video and uh, I would appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching this how-to tutorial on how to fillet a giant red snapper. I hope to bring you guys some more awesome videos like this real soon. And until my next video, follow your dream and keep on catching. Look at that collar. It's gonna be delicious.